All right, so what do we already know about the end of our last ice age in the Younger Dryas? You know, what are the uncontested scientific facts? So as we were coming out of our most recent ice age, which, which really wasn't easy. I mean, there were huge spikes in temperature. We, we discussed the bowling Alderaan. Uh, there were drops in temperature. But around 13,000 years ago, there was a major drop in temperature, putting us back into you know, extreme cold ice age conditions for around 1,200 years. Uh, and that's known as the Younger Dryas. Now, the cause of the Younger Dryas is pretty well known. Uh, there was a massive influx of glacial meltwater uh, right, right around here um, that, that blocked off the Gulf Stream, uh, which really stopped the conveyor of warm water that moves across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, and, and that's really what kind of helps distribute heat around the globe. Where did all that water come from? to cause the blockage of the uh, Gulf Stream, we really don't know. We're not 100% sure. The, the uh, hypothesis that has gained the most support over the years uh, would be the draining of Lake Agassiz, which supposedly was a, a glacial meltwater lake that as the glaciers were retreating, uh, water was, was collecting along the base of the ice cap uh, and being held in by ice dams and things like that, uh, that released all at once. 13,000 years ago, and that's what stopped the, um, the, the conveyor of warm water across the Atlantic Ocean. We also know that around the same time, we had a major die-off of mega mammals or organisms that weigh over 100 pounds. Um, and, you know, that includes things like the woolly mammoths, the short-faced bears, the, uh, the mastodons, uh, as well as things like glyptodons and, and, and giant ground sloths. You know, there was just a, a tremendous amount of of loss of life uh, right around this same time. Uh, and we'll focus on that next.